What's going on everybody, my name is Farworld and today I'm going to be talking about Halo in the future, more specifically Halo in the rest of 2016 and 2017. Now, what can we expect to see in the future? Well, the autumn update to Halo 5 will be coming out probably around the September, uh, late, yeah, late September, maybe not as late as October, but we can expect to see an update around that time, which will include a file browser, finally, well done. Well done, it's taken you almost a year to um, implement a file browser, well done 343, good job. But we can also expect to see Halo Wars 2, uh, hopefully at the end of this year in the November time when the Halo games normally release October, November. And then it will be another year until Halo 6 launches, probably October, November 2017, if it has to go by previous histories of the games. Now, this worries me slightly, because, I mean... Bravo put on a Reddit post that Halo 5 boasts longevity stats better than Reach. Now, I mean, while that's good, it's, we all know the only reason it's lasted this long is because of Warzone. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to be a realist here. I mean, Warzone has kept the population in Halo 5 going, but the problem with it is I don't want 90% of the population playing Warzone. I want to be able to find games in Arena and... I want to be able to find games while playing solo and not get dicked on by a team of four. That's, that's what I really want to do. And going back to the Better Than Reach, so Halo Reach was released in 2010 and then Combat Evolved Anniversary was added to it in 2011 with the matchmaking using Reach's engine but having Combat Evolved maps, etc. And then Halo 4 was released in 2012. Now, what you could say is that that's three FPS style Halos in three years and that, that shows consistency there. And at that time, 343 had taken over the um, the Halo franchise from Bungie and started to work on it. So it shows that they can do three in three years. Um, even though CE wasn't really a full game, it was more of a reach add-on, they still managed to get it out there. And it was actually quite popular. I didn't get it myself, but it was actually really popular. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I mean... Well done to 343 Industries for keeping Halo 5 going this long and keeping the population up. And they boasted since Reach, didn't they? So, and Reach was, I, I quite like, I quite enjoyed Reach. But, I mean, let's be honest, overall it was a better game than Reach. I would say that Halo 5 had better aspects, better connect. I mean, it had, it was just an overall better game apart from the customization options, but that's for another day. But, and then you look at it in comparison to its probably rivals, you could say. Not necessarily like COD, but I'm talking about FIFA here. I mean, FIFA only really has an October to June life cycle because the game comes out in October and it gets really, really dry by June time. So that, And that's one of the biggest franchises around, especially in the UK. But the big games, FIFA and then and COD in this, in this case, come out each year. Each year. And while I would encourage quality over quantity, which is perhaps where MCC failed, where they were trying to get too many games out at once. They were concentrating on Halo 5 and MCC at the same time and really didn't be as thorough as they should have been. I fear that the gap between Halo FPS titles, which would be two years by the time Halo 6 comes out, is just too, too long. And I could see a severe dip in popularity. And I think that might hurt. I think that might hurt. But um, anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Don't take my opinion personally. If you think different, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.